Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Thursday morning. Uh, today is the um, 11th of August already, 2022. And uh, welcome this morning to Peace Through the Word, daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, an LCMS congregation in Benson, Arizona. LCMS means Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. There's different synods of the Lutheran Church, and <laughs> and there, you know, there's some difference there, and what I'm probably enough said. Uh, but we're a a conservative, uh, Orthodox, which means we uh, subscribe to what the Bible says, nothing else. Uh, Lutheran Church, and so um, you know, some of them don't do that. We do, <laughs> okay. So uh, that's the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod which had its origin uh, in and near St. Louis, Missouri. And, and that's why they call it the Missouri Synod, right? So, hey, there's rationale to some of the things we do. But uh, so good to be able to, with, to be with you this morning and to be able to share God's Word with you as we begin our day together. And this ministry is uh, worldwide. It goes out throughout the world. God in his grace and mercies has taken this piece of ministry and expanded it uh, around the world. So we are grateful for that and we thank him for it. And I'm Pastor Ron York of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church. But coming to you from my study at our beautiful home in Sun City, Oro Valley, Arizona. And Oro Valley is uh, a suburb or a, or a community uh, of Tucson, it's kind of like Scottsdale is to Phoenix, and so um, so I'm coming to you from there. All right, and so you get this extra in this ministry, and you don't have to pay extra. You know, it just comes with the package. <laughs> okay, let's get with it here. So this morning we're going to uh, be sharing with you. You know, how many of us say, "Hey, you know, I got a great idea." Let me tell you this story. There were two guys, and they went to college together. They were very good friends, and they met at a bar in Texas. And they were talking together, and they said, you know, the, the one said to the other, and they, these guys are good friends, and they got a lot of money, <laughs> too. They both had a lot of money. And so the one guy says, hey, you know, I got a great idea. And the other guy goes, oh, really? <laughs> I suppose you're going to share it, right? He goes, well, of course. So he goes, yeah, here, I, so he takes a, a cocktail napkin, he says, here, here's my idea. And he draws three circles, and he says, here's Houston, here's San Antonio, and here's Dallas. So he goes, uh, let's formulate an airline that connects those three cities, a low fare airline. His other friend said, you know, that's the most ridiculous, stupid idea that I have ever heard. But he says, you know, because it's so stupid, let's do it. The two of them put their monies together and their ideas together and did it. And guess what happened? It's Southwest Airlines. That's one incredible story. From an idea that came from two guys that initially they thought was stupid. But God has a great idea. And that's what we're going to look at this. <laughs> that's what we're going to look at this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So I want to share with you this morning the worship setting called Matins. So don't think that I conjured that up. I, I don't have the brain power to do that. <laughs> okay. Matins is a worship setting that has come and been handed down in the church for um, teen years. So it's been a part of the church for a long time. And so it's a beautiful worship setting. It, the word matins simply means morning. So the church started the day, started their morning. You know, I start mine with coffee. And I got a brother in Christ who... Uh, is a tremendous trumpet player. He's got a tremendous ministry called Heavenly Trumpet Ministries, and you ought to chime into that. Um, and I've had him come and, and do a concert at my church here in Tucson. 
and I got to get him to Benson. But he also works for Southwest Airlines, right? But I got my coffee cup. He's going to kick me at this. But it's with America West Airlines, which doesn't fly anymore. But it, I used to fly this airline all the time for business because we had a special thing with them when I was in the business world. And they always treated us well. I, I, I will say that. But they're no longer in business anymore. Southwest is. So go figure. Okay. So anyway, he's going to, I got my coffee cup. Hopefully you do too. But we're going to be looking at Matins here this morning. So, O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O oh Lord. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. And that's what we need to do. And my, my brother who, uh, and I'm going to just tell you his name. I'm going to tell him about this anyway. His name is Rudy Cervantes. And, uh, you know, he worships God with his trumpet. While he works with Southwest Airlines. That's huge. And he plays trumpet as good as Herb Alpert of the Tijuana Brass. That's no joke. Check it out. Heavenly Trumpet Ministries. What you got to do is go www.heavenlytrumpet or Google it. You know? Well, what did we do without Google? <laughs> Had to go through a dictionary or an encyclopedia. Anyway, so, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. That's what he does with his trumpet. Okay? So, why? Why does he do this? And why do we do this? Because the Lord is a great God. <laughs> okay? Uh, and a great king above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. And the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his. The beautiful oceans in Southern California, Hawaii, Dominican Republic, anywhere you go. You know, the mountains, you know. But the sea is his because he made it. And his hand formed the dry land. So, O oh, come, let us worship and let's bow down. Let's humble ourselves. And let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. So blessed be God the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. So I want to share with you the passage of Scripture that our devotional is going to unpack for us, and it comes from... Um, Genesis, the first book of the Bible, chapter 1, specifically in verse 26. And we have this recording of that passage. And this is God's great idea. You know, I told you about the founders of Southwest Airlines. That was a great idea, too. But this trumps, this trumps those guys. Trumps mine and trumps everybody's. So listen to God's great idea. And, and notice the plurality of the Godhead here, meaning they acknowledge what we did in a few minutes ago, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So listen to this. So it says, let us make man in our image, our likeness. That was God's idea. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. God the Father, creator of all, has a great idea to crown his creation. He will make mankind in his image. Now we lost that with Adam and Eve, unfortunately. We're no longer created in God's image. We are now created in the image of Adam. And so as a result of that, we have sin just reeks in our lives. We have sickness, disease, all kinds of bad stuff. All the bad stuff comes from that. But only humankind reflects his glory and exercises his dominion. Do we realize that? Sometimes I don't think we do. 
God created humankind, male and female, in His image. We're the crown of His creation. The image of God does not mean the attributes of omnipotence, omnipresence, or omniscience, but rather it refers to His character, the capacity to love, justice, grace, mercy, and forgiveness are all part of God's character. That is the image in which he created humankind to be able to exercise those. It is a tragedy that since the transgression of our first parents, Adam and Eve, we all sin, every one of us, constantly, every day. And we fall short of the glory of God all the time. So we do not well reflect the image of God, but rather our selfishness and Adam, because that's now how, we're cre how we are created. We're created now in the image of Adam. The great plan of our Father has been disrupted, but is not destroyed. That's really good, guys and, and ladies. It's been disrupted, but not destroyed. The Father's solution for the reconciliation of humankind is to send His only Son, Jesus Christ, to restore His image on earth and to demonstrate for us how we are to live as the crown of God's creation. Jesus must be crucified and die, but He must also rise in glory to share the image of the Father with His body, the church, which is why my brother Rudy plays his trumpet to do just that. So Jesus restores the glory of our Father on earth and we reflect his glory. And that's what Rudy does with Heavenly Trumpet Ministries. Okay. So allow me to please pray. So that's God's great idea. I pray that will bless you immensely today. So let me pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for creating us in your image and with your likeness so that we can reflect your glory here on earth. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that will bless you tremendously this morning and forever. Amen. So, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and then keep it. What does that mean? Do it. Okay, it's, it takes more than just head knowledge. It's got to go from here to here to our feet. Put it into practice, into action. Okay? So, Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To you cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. The noble armies of martyrs praise you. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The Father of an infinite majesty, your adorable, true, and only Son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. You are the King of glory, O Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servants, whom you have redeemed with your precious blood, Make them to be numbered with your saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you and we worship your name forever and ever. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us as our trust is solely in you. O oh Lord, in you have we trusted. Let us never be confounded. So, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promise as we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, 
And so together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So, O Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cries come to you. The Lord be with us and with your spirits. We continue to pray. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, let me thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking time out of your morning to join us at Peace Through the Word. I pray that this has been a real blessing to you as you saw great ideas that people have made, but most importantly, the great ideas that our God had made in creating us to bring glory and honor to Him. So I pray that that has blessed you this morning, inspired you and encouraged you, but and, and also given you genuine, real peace as you live out your lives today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, yeah, still is. <laughs> Here in southern Arizona, we're right in the middle of our monsoon season, so we've had some tremendous thunderstorms they usually come up later on in the day but we need it but it's a beautiful day so and i really love flying but i also love the train we're going to be taking the train to california a little bit different but so anyway the flaps have been retracted and so has the landing gear so i convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies